Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn all the remaining Sketcher commands. Click on New. OK. Sketch. Select the plane. Okay. So we have covered all these commands. Now next is, we have also seen the trim in first lecture. So next is Extend. As some entities. Suppose I want to extend these lines, so click on extend and click on the side, on which side you want to extend. So it will be extended up to the next object. If there is some arc, those arc will also be extended. And if I click on extend, so arcs and line, all the shape can be extended. Then next is offset, in, offset entities. Select the object you want to offset. Then specify the gap. How much gap you want. If you want to view the dimension or you want dimensions to be added automatically, take this. You can from here reverse the direction on which side you want the offset. You can define that. Then Using by directional, you can have offset on both the sides. And if you, after offset, if you want to convert this entity into a center line or reference line, then you can take this also, make base construction, so it will be converted into construction line. And if you want to cap the ends, so tick here, so it will cap the ends. Now you can define whether it needs to be capped by lines using lines or arc. So using offset entities you can create slot also. Then done. So as for that, that offset entity will be created. Next is mirror entities. Suppose I want to mirror these entities, so click on mirror entities, select the entities you want to mirror, then tick here and define the mirror about, about which axis you want to mirror, about this axis and click on done. So it will mirror around, around that axis. Mirror entities, select the entity, if you don't want to Keep the original object, then remove this tick, mirror about, select the axis and done. It will remove the original entity and keep the other entity. That is mirror entities and next is, okay, uh, before pattern we will see this. Move entities, select the entities you want to move, then click here. And give the start point. Suppose I want this end point to be at the end of this. In this way you can move entities. Then you can copy also. Copy entities. Select the entity you want to copy. Click here. Give the base point, start point and give the second point. Then next is rotate entities. Rotate entities. Select the entities you want to rotate. Then give the, define the center around which you want to rotate around this center. Then define the angle. Suppose in 45 degree. Done. So it is rotated in 45 degree in anti-clockwise direction. And next is scale entities. Scale. Select the entities. Then define scale about this center point. Then give the scale factor. I want to make it double, enter, done. So it will scale the entity. If you want to keep the original entity, for that, scale entities, 
select the entity give the base point and tick copy to keep the original entities give the scale factor done so it will keep both original and the scale entity then stretch entities if you want to change the length of some entities for that you will have to press down the first button drag the button and you have to make selection using window selection then give the stretch of stretch point and give the second point so in this way you can stretch the entities okay then next is pattern so for pattern we will create one object that we want to pattern escape delete suppose i want to pattern this circle select the entity you want to pattern then click on linear sketch pattern then define the number of entities how much you want then define the distance between entities so i want it to be 100 or more than that zoom it okay from here you can reverse the direction on which side you want the pattern object then uh, dimension expressing if you tick it it will show the dimension then uh, if you tick it it will show the number of object in the created uh, created pattern if we done here so here he has given the gap if we change the gap it will automatically change all the gap we if we change this number of entities it will automatically change the entities so for that it is very important that you keep these atoms otherwise it will create without without it if you take linear pattern select this give the number of atoms give the gap if we remove this tick ticks then it will create without that so you will not be able to change it afterwards so for changing it afterwards it is very important that you keep you tick these options same way you can also give the angle also if you want it in inclined some angle you can specify the angle here same way in direction to you can specify the number of atoms how much you want then what is the gap required then from here you can reverse the direction and same for dimension y spacing then tick both options so that you can edit it after creation then here is instances to skip click inside it and if you don't want some object to come in the pattern final pattern so you can just click them so they will not appear in the final pattern so in this way you can create linear sketch pattern same way next is circular we'll create one circle zoom fit to make it as a reference or construction click here so it will turn into a center line object then create one more object here done then i select this object then circular sketch pattern then define the angle then now define the number of entities how much you want define the angle suppose i want it in one 180 degree so it will create in half circle you can change the direction from here whether you want it on the upper side or below side then equal spacing will give automatically give the equal spacing if you want it in full circle give the 360 degree then you can take this dimension radius so it will give those dimensions and angular spacing you can change it later on or if you don't want to change you can 
go for this equal spacing then same display instance count you can display it and from here you can skip some atom if you don't want it done so in this way you can create the circular pattern okay next we will see this add relation I have this line if I want to make it horizontal or vertical then select this line and from here you can add the relation I want to make it horizontal or I want to make it vertical so you can add relation directly by selecting the object you can add the relation so there is no need to click on this add relation suppose I have this circle and one more this circle and if there is multiple object press control and select the multiple object and then define the relations suppose I want a radius of both the circle equal then you can click on this equal so it will make the radius same then one more circle if I select this circle control this circle you can make them concentric by clicking on this so the center will be same suppose I have this one line I want to make this line tangent to this circle so select this circle control this line and make it tangent this circle this line and make it tangent and if you don't want the object to be moved automatically so you will have to place the smart dimension to them so that it will hold their place and they will not change their position suppose I, I want to make this line parallel to this line so select this line control this line and you can make it parallel so it will become parallel Say, same way if some object is there that I want to to make this line perpendicular to this so select this line control this line make it perpendicular so in this way you can apply the different relations by selecting the object directly then display and delete relation click on this so it will display all the relations used in that particular sketch if you don't want particular relation you can right click and delete it and you can delete it by selecting also select the relation and delete from keyboard also you can delete it select the relation and delete ok just done select the relation and delete so from keyboard also you can delete it the next is fully defined sketch so it will add all the parameters and constraint automatically so click on it if you want uh, relations to be added if you want a particular object to be fully defined so for that you can select those object for which you want it to be fully defined then you can select the relations which relations should be added and you can define the type of dimension suppose I, if I select baseline so it will give all dimensions from one line and if you select the chain option so it will give in chain mode suppose we will try with baseline then done so here you can view that it has given all the dimension from single line same way for here also so horizontal dimensions are also given from one line and vertical dimensions are also given from one line and it has given the diameter also of the circle we will just undo it again we will fully define if you want complete sketch to be fully defined just click here all entities in the sketch then select the type of the suppose if I select chain chain and suppose I want 
vertical dimension in chain and horizontal dimension in chain and vertical dimension in ordinate. You can specify the location of the dimensions also where you want it above sketch, below sketch, on left side or right side. Then click done. So here if you see the vertical dimension has been given in ordinate and the horizontal dimension is given in from one baseline. So in this way you can use this tool fully defined sketch it will define the sketch automatically. Then there is a quick snaps are there that you can use to define the snap if suppose I want to this center line is there so I want to create one circle at the intersection of this center lines so circle if I go here it is showing me the midpoint and not, not the intersection point of both the lines so what you can do you can click on this quick snaps and select the desired snap Suppose I want it to be intersection snap and click on so it will apply the intersection snap there automatically. So from here you can choose the snap point that you want to use for your command. Suppose I want to create something on quadrant point. So click on the quadrant and it will be created on the quadrant point. So in this way you can define the manual snaps from here so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here